uh, I mean, the other, the nice thing is that you have a group of people working seriously and seeing that it's not just hobby and and, and producing right, for your own right. use. It it can become a business. I produce it for chicken. I know. Eat the food, <laughs> and then I eat the chicken. And you. Eat it. It's because we actually produce water from the farm, from our air conditioning, so we actually, that's why we planted some watermelons and some of the local cucumbers on our property just to, you know, to uh, use up some of the land, but then also to reuse the water itself, so, uh, so it doesn't go to waste. Instead of just dumping it, try to grow something else. So Santa Rosa has been a support for you, right? Absolutely, absolutely. The work yep. of Santa Rosa that Natalie's doing, and now with the new... US. With the, the United Farmers Aruba, yeah. Uh, yeah, the United Farmers So now you're having a lot more, common, more of a combination between government entity and also with commercial growers. But also the hobbyists, because it's still important that, you know, you don't want to leave out the people that grow food for their own consumption. You want to support them as well, because, you know, what anybody, anybody can do to help make things sustainable, it's better for all, right? Yeah, definitely. So, and then here we have the mini cucumbers that are so famous now in Aruba. Which they like the heat, so. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Yeah, there's a small little green one on the end there. Beautiful. See, Patricia, thank you very much. I think this is a an amazing project here in the island. So we are, can you describe where, where, where are we? This is a high tech container where you are growing microgreens and these beautiful lettuces. Yeah, so um, we are Chinai Second Farm Aruba. Um, we are the first indoor hydroponic farm um, in on the island. Um, and actually in the Caribbean, most of the, this part of the Caribbean, I believe as well. Um, so our products are, we sell varieties of lettuce heads and we also grow um, different varieties of microgreens. And uh, where did you get the, this container? Where is this container coming from? We this actually is purchased, beautiful. Yeah, we actually purchased our container from, from the States. Um, we had it shipped into um, Aruba on a, on a ship and it was a um, the product has been sold in various places in the States. We did research to make sure that this, uh, you know, this was able to actually work in a in the environment that we have here because we have such a, um, uh, you know, as a island, we're a very arid temperature, so it's very difficult to grow lettuce. Actually, impossible to to grow lettuce outdoors oh, yeah. uh, in the environment so here. Much heat, they too will... heat, yeah, too much heat. Then the uh, the ground itself is not very conducive to growing um, lettuce. And. Um... Which is, uh, which, uh, the, are these lights special or are these just like Christmas lights? Yeah, it does look like Christmas. <laughs> they do look like Christmas lights. Um, actually, yeah, these are different, uh, they're, they're LED lights, but each specific color of the, the light spectrum that show is specifically needed for the, the plants themselves. So it, it helps them grow quicker. Um, so now typically a head of lettuce may, may take, you know, eight to 12 weeks to grow a single head of lettuce. Where in here we can grow within five weeks from seed to actual final product it takes us five weeks to grow it because it's indoors we can control the light we control the temperature we control the um basically the entire um, environment around the plant so this is the most ideal environment to grow these types of lettuces and how, how big is this container this is a 40 foot shipping container simple as that yep. so is the investment already uh sustainable? I mean, uh, the investment should be... Yeah, I mean, for a, a container like this, it's uh, the investment is much more um, feasible um, because it, it's, everything's self-contained. So you've got the, the container, comes with the, the racks, comes with the, you know, the, the tanks for the water, everything is included into it, the air conditioning units, it's a self-contained unit. So it's much more, um, especially for an environment like this, because you don't really know. Um, so our our thinking was we wanted to get a system, a self-contained system that was already proven technology in the states and in Europe, um, and then we wanted to bring it here and see if it was actually feasible to do it here, you know, in the island itself. So, but for us, the investment was it, it made complete sense to make the investment. But yeah, if you're looking at growing in like warehouses or you know much larger scale tent, it's 
ten to twenty thousand heads less a week, then yeah, it's a the, but you're talking the investment for that is in the millions of dollars. Mm. So, it, but the demand, why well, we believe the demand is there. That's where we want to get to. But for now, we're trying to take a step, you know, take small steps. So do you sell everything that is in here in, in a couple of days. Everything is gone. Every once a week, we harvest once a week. So every um, Wednesday, we uh, we're harvesting the heads, and we're also harvesting the mix. So they grow fast. Yes, they grow very quickly. That's that's really good. Yes. Well, thank you. thank you for your time. I think this is a great project. I mean, here in the island of Aruba, the Ceretic yes. Island, growing these beautiful lettuces and, and and you know microgreens. I mean, this is like a dream. <laughs> yeah. So each level, you see, there are different stages of growth. So basically, one level is equivalent to one week. So it's constant oh, rotation. Yeah. So that's how you see the progression as it goes. So these are the ones that you harvest. Like the yes. ones that you take. These, the one you see down. in this row, we're probably going to be harvested this week. Mm -hmm. So and when this, this one you can't see, but the ones in the top row are the ones we will harvest this week as well. Mm -hmm. So the containers mm -hmm. split in half. So this is the half that we use for our spring mix, and this is the half that we just package for individual heads, not um, living heads. So we package it with the uh, roots and everything attached to it. So when you purchase this, you bring it home, you stick it in the water, and it, it stays like living. Yeah, so it yeah, lasts that's... anywhere from, from 10 to 14, 17 days. And where are you selling them now? Right now we're selling them in a supermarket. So our focus is specifically on the local market. Because we believe as an island, you know, a lot of people get wrapped up and worried about the tourists. And everybody, you know, you need to supply the hotels and restaurants with the best quality product. Which is true, but also we believe that it's more important to, you know, to grow the local market. Because that's where, um, those are the people that you have all year round. Those are your true customers. So, you know, so you really know what is very this. important, Patricia? We're talking with Patricia Mitten. That's the way you pronounce yep. your last yep. name. Of 297 Farm. Yeah. 297 is the area code for Aruba. That what I think is really important is that this is about food security. Absolutely, tools. absolutely. You can't rely in everything coming from abroad. I mean, we're at that point where we're, everything in this island is, 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 is you know, important. So, we're also working with a local um, farming association that just began um, last year called UFA, the United Farmers Aruba. And what we're doing is we're bringing other, all farmers together, because there are a lot more people than me growing um, produce on Aruba. I'm the only one doing it inside in a shipping container, but there are people growing, you know, other people growing lettuce here, but they're growing it in greenhouses. Um, there are also people growing just on the land. Um, well, I, I see that there are more and more young people yes. involved in going back to the Konuku. And right. this is, I, I mean, this is so important. It is, it is very important. And that, that's very why, important. you know, I'm supporting the work that Natalie is doing, you know, because this is what we need in the Caribbean. We need right. to think on sustainable living yes. and especially in food security. Because being a small island, you yes. know, nevertheless, if something happens, then... Oh my God! What are we, we going to eat? Aloe vera or what? Year, right? yeah. We look at what you know the incident happened in, in Puerto Rico and also in Saint Lucia, Saint Mark. I mean the same thing. I mean it's you know, we were affected similarly because you know we were affected in that that there was no containers arriving at the island. So there was actually a period of two to three weeks on the island where there was absolutely no lettuce on the entire island of Aruba. The only lettuce that existed was the stuff that we were producing and other people were producing. So. The hotels are running out of lettuce, and people are calling me all hours a day. Lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. I'm glad that you have this initiative, and I hope yes. that you will have some other three or four more containers, yes. and that you find the support of whatever institution right. you need. Because, I mean, I can imagine the investment for yes, something it like is this. It's a big investment, but like I said, it's, it's important to invest in all types. This may not be the, the this is not the only way to do things. There are other people doing other things, and we believe that that's the best way to do it. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank and you thank you, Natalie. Thank you for bringing me here. and food security. Thank you very much for hosting us here.